interviewed Nicole Blackman, who was a publicist in kind of like mid-late 90s that was really successful at the time. And she was kind of at the peak of her publicist career where everybody wanted to work with her and she was so swamped. And I interviewed her for this magazine I was working with and she said something that just really stuck with me. She said, we get so many packages in the mail each day that we have a giant refrigerator sized box by the front door and every single package that comes in just gets thrown in that box and ignored. And she said, then when we get a follow-up call from somebody saying, did you get my package? Mm -hmm. she'll, she'll say, well, have you called before? Well, no, I haven't called before, but I haven't heard from you. I'll say, oh, okay, we'll get back to you. And the fact that they hadn't called before meant it was still in the refrigerator size box. They'd find it in the refrigerator box and dump it in a second box. Then they'd wait for the second call back. And if somebody said, I still haven't heard from you. Did you get my package? I haven't heard your thoughts on it. Then they'd say, oh, they seem pretty serious. They'd take it out of the smaller box mm -hmm. and put it on a desk and still maybe get to it, but maybe not. And when the third follow-up call would come, like, this is, my, you know, they'd say, I haven't heard from you. They'd say, how many times have you called? It, this is my third time calling. They'd go, oh, it must be here on the desk somewhere. And then they'd say, we'll get back to you. And now they knew that that person was serious. And this is what she had to do to filter out the unserious people. Mm -hmm. Because the ones who really, really, really wanted to work with her would call three times. And the ones who were less serious would, like, send a package once and give up. So I summarize this by saying that persistence is polite. <laughs> that it's actually the, the considerate thing to do is to understand the position that they're in where they get tons of people calling them each day or whatever. And the considerate thing is to not be mad at them for this. The inconsiderate thing to do is to send somebody a package once or you know, contact somebody once, not hear back from them, and then just for the rest of your life go, she's a bitch, she never got back to me, fuck them. And <laughs> That's never happened at our <laughs> company, ever, ever before. So yeah, persistence is polite understand that the people that you're trying to reach are swamped in calls. And sometimes, I mean, this sounds really bad, but like sometimes even my good friends have to call me like three times before right. I get back to them, you know, because I'm just like swamped in CD baby stuff. So right. um, yeah, so understand that, uh, that you just need to kind of like be persistent until you get a definite yes or no. You know, there are some people who like, for example, were calling CD Baby every week for a year to ask if we had job openings. Like, hey, I really want to work there. Hey, it's me again. I really want to work there. Right. And after a year, like 50 calls over the course of a year, all of a sudden one day we were hiring and you're like, yeah, you know what? You really do seem to want to work here. Come on in. You know, so. That's wonderful advice. And, and Nicole Blackman, this publicist that we were just talking about, this is a publicist. And for those of you that aren't familiar with how PR firms work, you actually pay a publicist, um, and if they decide that you're appropriate, they will want to work with you and take you on. The PR firm I run, you pay us a monthly fee, and that's how it works. So what you're talking about is someone that gets paid still required three phone calls. We're not even talking about a record label where, in, in, a, in a sense, they pay you. So as you can see, persistence pays, and persistence is polite. Really good advice.